Arsenal are back in action against Aston Villa at midday tomorrow. Having lost our unbeaten run at Wolves, it's an opportunity to put that game behind us and go above Villa in the league, albeit having played two more games than them. One player that won't be playing for us is David Luiz after his red card. I haven't been able to get a video out since the game happened, so I do want to address the whole situation now. Firstly, I want to say that our first half performance was probably the best I've seen all season. The football was flowing, we were creating chances, Partey was running the game and Pepe scored a great solo goal and we should have gone in at half time at least 2 or 3 up. And that's what really annoyed me about the other night, not the referee and not VAR. We got sloppy right on half time and we let them back into the game and it's something we've done on numerous occasions in the past, switching off just before half time. That's what led to the red card and penalty, it was sloppiness. In my opinion, and this might be an unpopular one, but I think the referee got the decision spot on and we can't really complain about it. For as long as I've been watching football, denying a clear goal scoring opportunity has always been a red card, inside or outside the box. The confusion arises from the new double jeopardy law that they brought in. I too was confused, I thought that an accidental collision in the box warranted only a yellow, but apparently not, it's only if a player makes a genuine attempt to play the ball. So in that case, by the letter of the law, the decision was correct. Whether or not there's enough contact is a whole other argument, but most of the people I've seen um, talking about it in the media and on social media don't seem to be arguing as to whether or not it was a foul. If it is a foul, it's a penalty and a red card. That's the law. Personally, I think Luis ran across his path and he caught him and he caused the player to lose his footing. Maybe it's a bit harsh, but if that incident happened against us, I know I would have been screaming penalty and red card. I do think the law needs to be looked at though. There needs to be more clarity, they've got to either scrap it altogether, meaning all offences that deny a clear goal scoring opportunity is a straight red card inside or outside the box, or apply double jeopardy to all cases. All fouls in the box denying a goal scoring chance should be a yellow card, unless of course there's a serious foul play, which is a completely different offence. They could add accidental collision into it um, as a yellow card offence, but I think that could possibly open up another can of worms. How do we judge what's accidental? Take David Luiz's one the other night. It might look like an accident, but how do we know that Luiz didn't know exactly what he was doing there, running across his path without breaking stride? Surely he was bound to catch him. How can that be deemed an accident? The debate will rumble on no doubt, I'm sure many of you will have deferring views to mine, please do let me know in the comments down below and also please do smash those like, subscribe and notification buttons too, I would really appreciate it. Arsenal have lost the appeal to have Luiz's red card rescinded, that's no surprise to me, so he's out, as well as Bernd Leno of course for his red card, I don't know what he was thinking by the way when he came out like that. Who will come in for them though, let's take a look at how we could line up against Aston Villa. First of all, looking at the team news, Kieran Tierney looks like he's definitely still out. Mikel Arteta saying in his press conference that he's picked up a new injury. A new goalkeeper Matt Ryan is a doubt as well, so Runarsson is most likely going to have to deputise in goal. He hasn't had the best of starts to his Arsenal career, but hopefully he can put a performance in tomorrow. With Luis out, I'd bring back Gabriel alongside Rob Holding and continue with Cedric and Bellerin as the fullbacks. I also think that Xhaka and Partey partnership is starting to look really good and we must stick with them. I would give Emil Smith Rowe a rest though and hand a full debut to new signing Martin Erdegaard. Pepe starts on the left again for me, he's been excellent in the last two or three games and Bukayo Saka on the right hand side is undroppable and I'd stick with Laka up top, there's some real chemistry developing between the forward players. That's how I would line up but I think the actual team will be slightly different. I think Smith Rowe will start the game and I think Lacazette will be benched and the returning Aubameyang will start the game. I think that's how Arteta will line up, let me know down below your lineups and score predictions too. It is going to be a tough game, Villa might have had a couple of bad results lately but they're still a good side with some dangerous players and they did humble us at the Emirates earlier in the season. But I think there's a real swagger to our game right now and I predict a 2-1 win for us. Hopefully we can bounce back. That's just about it folks. Thanks to everyone for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up wherever you are in the world. Stay safe and stay gooned.